Hello and welcome to Rebels Radio latest interview. I'm joined by both Slough Joint Managers, John Underwood and Neil Bagg. How are you, gents? Been better. <laughs> yeah, t- tough day at the office and it, it started tough. Um, obviously, uh, a slight lack of centre-backs. Yeah, um, unfortunately we had uh, a message from Guy first thing this morning. Uh, Guy's mum's seriously ill at the moment and has been um, since pre-season. Um, we weren't too sure, you know, how long we were going to have Guy for and... Um, we might have to deal with it without him for a few weeks. Um, you know, he's going through a very tough time and he needs to be with his family at the moment. So, uh, you know, obviously that meant that we were uh, down to Gary Mack and um, obviously we brought in Stuart Lake, but we, we weren't sure whether Gary Mack would be fit. Um, but fortunately he, he, he was. And, and to be honest, um, Lakey came in and, and done brilliant uh, alongside Gary Mack. So uh, it, it was actually, you know, they, they'd done really well together. And obviously Nathan as well missing out from uh, Tuesday night. His injury couldn't heal in time. Yeah, Nathan um, had a, it's kind of a back and lower back and hamstring um, issue. He's actually had it last year, was out for a couple of weeks. So um, he's got, you know, we're hopeful he'll, uh, he'll get right for next weekend. But this one was uh, just too soon. And uh, so hot conditions to start off with. And how, how pleased were you with the first 15, 20 minutes? Um, I would say we were actually a little bit disappointed the first 15 minutes. Um, we, we gave the ball up too easy. Um, you know, I felt that our passing wasn't great and, and they were probably on top for the first 15, 15 20 minutes. Um, and then obviously, you know, the, 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 the moment of madness with Scotty, um, which has ended up costing us the game. Yeah, yeah, a, a massive, massive in, incident in, in the game. Early on in the game, about 20, 23 minutes or so played. And it appeared that he got kicked and then retaliated, which is obviously not acceptable. Um, what was your sight of it? What was your views on it? Yeah, I mean, I'll be 100% honest. I didn't, I didn't actually see the incident. I'm not even sure where I was looking, but I missed it. I know Bakes, you saw, I saw it. I saw it. I mean, he, he what, what happened was their, their number 10 went in late on, on Scotty. Um, I think he kicked him. Um, funnily enough, uh, one of their players, you know, said that he, he wasn't sure whether he was going to get sent off as well. But unfortunately, Scotty's reacted. He's put his head down. Uh, towards towards his uh, to, towards number ten's head, and you know obviously he's made a me- meal of it and gone down. But in my opinion, it was a red card, um, and Scotty Scotty knew that, and you know we we it was it was unacceptable. He, you know we've we've already spoken to him. You know he's he's never been sent off for violent conduct. He he, he just doesn't know where it came from. So it was uh, you know re- really bad, and and it was obviously you know um, with the penalty being given, we we felt that we should have had a free yeah. kick. You know, um, but the referee referee decided to give a penalty, whereas, you know, we we weren't convinced that any of the officials saw saw the incident, and that's the only thing that we were disappointed. I think they guessed. They guessed correct, but I think they guessed. So, in t- yeah, in terms of the incident itself, obviously you were disappointed with the award of a penalty, yeah. not only the sending off, no excuses for, for no, Mark's no, behaviour. No, not at all, not at all. Our, our disappointment was with Scotty initially, that, that he'd done it, and, and he knows that. Um it's only kind of when you piece it together afterwards and you hear some of the conversations that happened on the pitch with the officials, uh, you realise it. You know, we're pretty certain they didn't see it. And, you know, if if, uh, if it was a clear headbutt, then the ref walks straight over and, and shows a red card. There's no other action, but it took three or four minutes and conversation between players, their players, our players, three officials. You know, if any of the three officials have seen it, there's no decision to be made. It's a straight red card. He so brings the card out. And, and it, it felt like they kind of pieced together what they thought had happened and made a decision based on that. And uh, that was the disappointing thing. You know, as I said, they got it right. They got it right by default. Uh, but it shouldn't have been a penalty. And, I mean, Luke came on and saved the penalty and then they, they scrambled it in. It was really frustrating. But, you know, we got back on uh, level terms very quickly. Um, we sacrificed Callum, which was unfortunate for him. But we wanted to keep... Um, you know, normally you'd probably take a forward off, but we wanted to keep a goal threat on the pitch. We were obviously expecting to go one down from the penalty, and we wanted to get um, you know make sure that we had goals in us. And uh, Putz has played wide left before, so we were quite comfortable with that. And he put a brilliant cross in for uh, Scott Harris's goal. Yeah. Uh, and, and and ten against eleven, actually, it looked as if you were kind of slightly coming out on top. It looked like you adapted better to that position than they did. I think we did, and uh, you know, we 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 sort of set ourselves up so we would be hard to beat. Um, and we just said you've got to go and work hard and work hard as a team. And I, you know, we we were absolutely delighted with what what they did second half. You know, we we had lots of problems defensively last year, and I felt we were really solid today. Um, you know, their their second goals come from um, a ricochet. You know, the lads had a strike on goal. 
Um, Luke's made a good save. It's come back, hit the lad, and ended up going in. So, um, you know, you, you, we just didn't get that little bit of luck there, I guess. But we were absolutely delighted with with uh, everyone's performance. You know, from from one to ten, yeah. should we say, or seventeen to ten. Um, we we even, you know we created chances as well. Yeah, Scott Harris. I thought Scott Harris was magnificent absolutely today, magnificent. up against three centre halves, and he worked tirelessly. You know, he um, created great, chances for himself. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, he, the, the header he had, he headed one down into the ground and bounced, hit the ground and over the bar at one all. Uh, he also worked at angle for himself and shot across the goal at, at two one down. So, you know, it wasn't like we were just defending. Clearly, we had to do a lot of defending, but we 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 always kept that threat going forward, and we were really confident we'd get something out. Yeah. The, the shape was good. The you know we had two experienced centre halves who talked really well. Yeah. And uh, I th- I, it felt like they were running out of ideas a yeah. little bit. They were starting to make mistakes on the ball, and um, and just as I felt, you know, I think we both felt that we were looking good for a point. They they get that ricochet, and it's just uh, yeah. And, and from then onwards, you then obviously start to commit a few more bodies forward, and we got caught for the third goal. I mean, it, you know, it's it's you know, we had to set ourselves up, um, especially second half, not to get beat and and try to hit them on the break. And I felt we executed that really well. You know, at times they're going to have plenty of plenty of the ball. It's a big pitch. It's a hot day, um, so it was it was always going to be tough. But I just felt that the the lads stuck to their task and you know stuck to it well, to be honest. And uh, what does it mean now moving forward? Obviously, Lakey came into the side today and obviously going forward there's going to be a suspension there for Mark Scott. Yeah. Uh, is, is Luke going to be the replacement there? Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, Luke's come and done great today. You know, it's the beauty of having two two great keepers. Um, you know, Luke, Luke's still not well, to be no, fair. He's not, you know, no, he's not. He said today, I mean, I'm sure a hot day didn't help, but, you know, he was totally shattered. It's more, um, it's the concentration. He said, I haven't had to concentrate like that no. on anything for months. And uh, he did absolutely brilliantly. We couldn't have asked any more. Um... But he, we need to kind of build him up now for yeah for, for the next in the next two two weeks we've got to make sure that you know in two weeks time when Scotty's suspend um, suspension kicks in that he's he's right and and ready to come in come in aside and then once he does it's then down to him to keep his place um, and so finally uh, a, a break of a week for a first time this season so yeah. far till the next game uh, at home to pull that'll be a challenging game ahead what what are you going to do this week. We're going to train twice. Um, you know, we, we, we it's it's good that we have got this week, you know, free because we have got, you know, I think we had six six or seven out today, and uh, it hopefully enables us to get sort of uh, at least two or three back um, yeah. in contention, ready for next next weekend. Um, so we're going to work, you know, we'll work hard again this week, and you know. Listen, we've we've been beat today, but we've not been disgraced. You know, our discipline we were really, really pleased with, with, with the exception, obviously, of Scotty. Um, you know, we thought thought that we were on the on the wrong end of some poor decisions today, um, and um, you know, we didn't pick up any bookings for descent. We didn't pick up any bookings at all in the game. So, you know, from that point of view, we're we're really pleased. And yeah, I mean, so this week it, it's just going to be hard work, and you know, we, we'll look to go again next week. But we, you know, we're not too disheartened you know by the performance because felt that the lads showed real character today I think in any game if you get beat um, you know if, if you get beat by doing the right things working hard giving everything um, playing to instructions they did all of those things today and, and you yeah, know we just feel sorry for the lads really they put such a hard shift in uh, I think we, we you know felt we could deserve to get a point out of it but we need to kind of uh, move on as, as Blake yeah. said work hard this week we've got a tough weekend. Paul at home, Chesham away, is not an easy weekend. But you know, because we've dropped three points today, then we we need to go and get some points next weekend. And uh, you know, there won't be a shortage of confidence next weekend. And hopefully, we've got one or two bodies back, and we'll be in a in a better position. Just finally, you know, obviously with with the Scotty situation, you know, Scott is a great great lad. Um, he's come in. He's been absolutely fantastic for us. He's got an fantastic attitude as well you know he 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 cares so much about his football um he's already been on the phone to us uh, apologizing you know he knows he's done wrong today um but we're not going to string him out to be you know hung out to dry you know he's he's made a mistake he has cost us the cost us a game today um he knows that but i'm sure that he'll you know save us many points this season as well mm. um and you know, so it's, it is disappointing what's happened, but hopefully he will learn learn from it, and I'm sure he will. You know, I don't believe he's ever been sent off for violent conduct no, or anything no, like that before. No. So, you know, hopefully he'll learn from it. But you know, I don't want us to, you know, sort of all, all hammer Mark <laughs> Scott or anything like that because you know he, he is a good lad, and you know, it's a it's a moment of madness.
Yeah. yeah, and it's a moment of madness that's cost you three points today, but as you say, we move on to next weekend and hopefully see some more points on the boards for the Rebels. So thank you very much for your time, gents, and look forward to a good week ahead. Cheers, John. Cheers. See you later.